Save significant time by creating templates for multiple offsets. Next step, uh, Matt, is how to run templates, how to do offsets, multiple offsets at the same time. Uh, another question that a lot of a customer ask. In this case, I want to do it on this island, Matt, because I want to do offsets that take me back to top of curve. Okay, so, but maybe I have two or three offsets at the same time. So here's what we're going to do. Instead of doing multiple offsets, we're going to run a template. We'll run the template first, and then I'll show you how to create a template. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to templates. And here's another kind of a, a quick tip is create a templates library. In this case, I mean, if you set up a good library of templates, you're going to have different curbing gutters that you can use. You're going to have different, you can have over excavation with slope, with no slope. Maybe you have trenches, footers, okay, walls. So create a nice and clean uh, a a template library that you can always use. So here, I'm going to be using the curbing gutter one. So here's my curbing gutter mat. Okay, so for segment, as I pick the segments, it's going to pick them here in the bottom for me. Okay, it's 12 inches in, goes 0.4 up, and then six inches to the back of curb. Okay, where's my reference point? What's this yellow diamond there? That's the reference line. That's the line that I'm picking from, which in this case is the edge of pavement. Okay, so as I go in and I apply the template, you'll see act great for creating those offsets for me, and my model is getting more and more detail. It's cleaning up the contours when they touch it, when they, when they go into the curb. So you create such a nice and clean model. Uh, again, I might have some bad triangulation here because I didn't put the high and the low points. Uh, but um, before I take, like I said, we're doing a takeoff here. Maybe I'm okay with that. Matt will say, nope, you got to fix it before you take it to the field. But in this case, we're going to keep moving. I got an island, utility, conform selected to data lines. Okay, so we know how to do that now. And then the next step is run a template. Let's create, let's create a quick template. I'm going to say new instead of opening one of the ones that I already have. And it's going to ask you, you want to scale it or you want to sketch it? So you probably want to sketch it. Very simple. All you do, Matt, is you go to the black space on the screen, and I'm going to be tracing it almost like you're tracing it on a piece of paper. Don't worry about distances, lengths, or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and say, I'm going to go straight to the right, straight up, and to the back. And there's your three segments. Now I can go in and say that reference point, if I'm doing everything from back of curb, you drag this to the back of curb. But if, since everything we're being, is being done from the edge of pavement, I'm going to go ahead and drag it. Press and hold and drag, reference point, and now you can start making these changes. One, 0.5 or 0.4 in this case, and the 0.5 flat. Save it. Again, save it on your, creating your template library and apply it. And there it goes, your template for this island.